All right, so we're back here out at one of our properties. Uh, this one, one of the landowner's uh, goals is to really work with wildlife. So one of the things that we've installed is something uh, I remember from one of the ranches I worked on. It's called either a New Zealand or an Australian gate. Uh, and the main thing that you'll kind of see behind me is it makes a big V. Uh, the main key with this is it has to be equal distances on each side. So in this case, I've done 50 feet. Uh, to the middle of the diamond and 50 feet going out and I'm using a 12 foot brace in the center uh, and you'll kind of come take a look at this and we'll see so a couple of things is in, in between the two 50 foot uh, chunks I'm only using high tensile wire uh, the reason for that is it, it gives me a little bit of flex in it uh, and it also still keeps its shape uh, we're using some uh, fiberglass three-quarter inch uh, stays in between to give some rigidity and something visual for the cattle uh, but there's nothing they don't go in the ground so uh, you'll see how this works over here is kind of the it's kind of the meat and potatoes of it uh, this is the mid brace that's in here the main thing is you got to have a pivot post so this is in line with the main fence uh, we're going 12 feet out so we're making a, a diamond and it's got a pivot point down here at the bottom uh, out of the end, we have some uh, insulators, so it's fully, the electric fence works, and we just have a brace to give it some strength. But uh, the nice thing is, at the end of the season, when you want to open up a wildlife bypass, if you're dealing with elk or bears or anything else, or even if you get cattle out on the other side of the fence and you don't want to deal with a gate, uh, this works as a really good way. All that you end up doing is just this. So it makes it that easy. Uh, this is just made out of some square stock. I used two inch uh, square stock, just some extra stuff I had. Uh, and as you can see, it goes up. It's a huge opening. You can make them really as big as you want. The main thing is whatever distance you do on one side, you gotta do on the other and do it at least 50 feet, um, 60, 70, even works. The main thing is the high tensile is kind of a necessity. Uh, I put a bolt in it, so at the end of the season, you pull this bolt out, you run the bolt through and it secures it. Uh, to keep it in the upright position. Uh, it's light, so one person can still put this up and down. So it weighs maybe 50, 60 pounds uh, in total. This will work, the quads can run over this to go in. Uh, another nice thing is if you're running, doing this V on the inside of your pastures, uh, in this one we kind of did the V to the outside of our pasture, but if you do it to the inside of your pasture and you're chasing rank cattle, that are running down a fence line and need them to turn their noses. This acts as a really good way that as they're coming down the fence, they have to turn their nose to get out and gives you an opportunity to change. Hope this is something you kind of like. Uh, it's a neat little idea. Uh, main thing is we're trying to grow some good grass here, uh, some good wildlife, and ultimately some great grass-fed beef.